Hello friends, and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxies tour. As we explore the various other servers out there, besides Basilisk, today we're checking out a server called Revelation. Uh, Revelation seems to have some interesting things going for it. A different kind of tutorial, uh, scripted events, and some, some other really fascinating things I saw on their initial blurb when I looked at the advertisement. Uh, however, uh, I did want to make you aware that we are hitting them at a very low peak population time. Uh, their server informed me when I started up the, uh, the launcher that the server population at the moment was zero. So I don't expect to see any other players. I did notice that it actually trends the population. And previous to this, the last few days, there have been several people on there, all the way up to 50 people at a time and more. So I'm not faulting them for population. I'm just letting you know that we are not actually going to expect to see anybody online right now. Uh, I don't know if this is just a midweek dip or if they're just not very busy during the week. Either way. We are fine with that, so let's get our human. And uh, let's we'll take the default today, because, you know, it's kind of Richard Hammond looking, and, and we'll go with that. So we'll take that, and what are we going to make him? So apparently there's like some artisan quests on here, so maybe we want to be an artisan to see what happens with that. Uh, we're not going to spend a tremendous amount of time on this server, but uh, let's rock and roll with the artisan, because. Uh, this is one of the few servers I saw that even though they they have uh, accelerated experience, they actually post the rates of their accelerated experience for everyone to see. Uh, Artisan was four to one, and uh, combat experience was pretty high, and so you should be able to max out a combat character fairly quickly. So let's go with Artisan. Um, one thing I did want to note before we go any further is the uh, launcher for Revelation is a bit clunky. It's one of the few so far that I found that actually has to be installed in the directory with the TRE files. So once you install your client, you do need to follow the directions and put it in the directory that it comes in. I did not expect this because most of the other ones that I've seen are actually installers and they locate your TRE files. This one doesn't have that function. I don't know if it doesn't have this function yet or if it's just not going to have that function. Uh, either way, it's easy to work around. Just follow the instructions in the forum if you decide to play. But I downloaded the launcher. I had a TRE directory set up for it. And then it proceeded to continue to loop because it could not find it. And it never asked me where it was. So I realized at that point that I had a problem. And when I figured out what it was, I copied it over. But for some reason, the files had corrupted themselves. So uh, I'm not sure if it's because I stopped it in the middle of an update because it was the only time I could stop it because it would bring up the launcher, tell me that it couldn't find the TRA files, quit, and go immediately back into a self-launching. So uh, if you download this one, make sure you save the downloaded zip file so that you can restore it in case you do make a mistake. So as we go... We're going to be an artisan, and we will go artisan, and we are going to randomly generate some names so that no one can identify it with us. Rufanilar. That sounds like a good name. We're going to go with Rufanilar. Go away. And we are going to do the new player tutorial in this because they did make a big to-do about how their, tu their tutorial was different. So we're, we're going to see what starter equipment they give us that's different and uh, what uh, other items. And they did say there were uh, options to be buffed as a new player. Uh, so we're going to take a look at all of that. But I wanted to start out saying, I like the background they put up here. It just, it's, um, it's a little off center. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but it just feels like maybe it's the resolution I'm running at. It feels like it's left, it's right to the screen. Could be because this bar here and there's nothing over here. Um, I don't know that it fits in the character screen. It fits in the loader. I mean, it was really cool loading, but uh, maybe it's just not possible. I haven't actually delved into the code this part. I really should someday, having been a programmer for decades should actually look at the code that they've developed and see 
see, maybe I can help out. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to get involved in it because if I do, then I'll get full on involved in it, and then and then I'll be a dev. And oh Lord, we don't want that. Anyway, this image was the same image on the launcher screen, which looked cool in the launcher screen, but now that my character's in front of it, um, not too sure how well this aesthetically pleases me. Uh, it is a cool picture though. I gotta give him credit for that. Uh, maybe move it over there so he's looking at your character. I, I'm not really sure how I'd fix this, but I'm not entirely pleased with that. They seem to like these these little fake bolts. Uh, the launcher has some of them on it. A lot of the interfaces seem to have these these rivets in them, and it's not my style. Uh, I'm not an artist but uh, it's not my style. Uh, if it is your style, that's awesome. By all means, that's, that's cool. It, it, they're doing their own thing and I'm happy for that. But uh, I, I'm not going to probably comment too much on the artwork because I don't want to sound too critical of it, but uh, I'm just not seeing a balance that I like. And we're just gonna leave it at that because I don't want to go too far, too hard on them because, hey, they took the time to actually design new screens and, and for all you know intents and purposes I, I applaud that just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's a bad thing and, and same with any of these just because I don't like a server doesn't mean it's a bad server it just means I don't like a server or I had a negative experience on it if you saw something in that server that you actually liked you're free to disagree with me I have no problem with that uh, these are my opinion and my opinion only uh, so rock on Let's start that new player tutorial. I do have sound turned off because we have not logged into this server yet. So therefore, I know the music is still on. That is the downside of Star Wars Galaxies. You can't actually turn individually selected sound settings off until you get in the game. Now, one thing we learned yesterday is not to turn off or not to turn on sound until we're actually out of this part. Right, left, blah, blah, log in, log out. I don't have his, well, the zoom is pretty cool, but it's not. Seem to have lost our. Okay, I've zoomed between first and third person. We'll see if we can zoom when we're outside for further, because that's we're probably on the ceiling, and that's what's stopping us. I, I did. Now can I go? I mean, I got this. It's okay. We're good. Okay, conversing with NPCs. Oh, he's waving his arms at us. Don't be a straggler. All right, what supplies? All right, we get supplies in the open me. Oh, we get neutron picks. So we start out as a drug user. We are automatically crackheads. Uh, get stim pack, padded armor, padded armor. So apparently there were some um, armor upgrades on this server as well. And, and I can see this. We, we got, let me move my microphone. I can see we've got uh, actually armor with kinetic resists, 45% kinetic resist. Doesn't have the best durability. But it is light armor with, with actually some some good resist. Doesn't resist lightsaber, but nothing really does. Not even blast doors. And the uh, encumbrance is is reasonable at 35. I mean, that's not going to kill anybody. Uh, padded armor leggings, okay. Uh, padded armor boots. Got the got the rock in the purple boots. Can we do colors? No, no, probably not until we pick it up. And the padded armor helmet, which is honestly kind of... I'm not sure what kind of sex suit they pilfered this off of, but... Maybe it's meant to look more like a fencer's suit. Anyway, pick it up. 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 I didn't even see what that was. I'm just picking drugs. Drugs. Drugs drugs pick up 
Uh, I like how they give you some boost right off the bat. The accuracy vapor, the synthetic muscle, dermal thickener. That's that's kind of handy. That might be those buffs that they were talking about. Yeah, that it's the drugs. It's the drugs. Okay. Oh, now we got to look at our inventory. And we got to turn off help because we don't need it. Scroll to locate our food item. Um. Uh, we didn't get a melon. What is our food item? Is this going to count as a food item? No, it didn't. Pixie's a food, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Hey, we ate our food item. Okay, that's a little confusing. We've got to do it the right way or it won't go on. This is my toolbar. There are many like it, but this one is mine. No, I don't need help. Well, it tells me I have to. Converse. Stop conversing. Okay, we got some cash. Fifteen thousand in the bank, seventy-five hundred on us. So we could, we could do a little traveling. We've got a little walking money. I could probably do this blindfolded now. Do down the stairs, down the other stairs, down the stairs, down some stairs, out the door. The bad part about this is you do this so often, and you assume you know what you're going to do next, and you start skipping steps, and you look like an idiot. And believe me, nobody looks like an idiot better than I do. We're insured, and we're all drugged up. How long do we have left on our pixie high? Where's our map? We got our map. Three minutes, and then we're going to throw up for a while. No, we got 11 minutes. So we're gonna, junk. We're going to go into town all, all coked up and... We're gonna have we're gonna we're gonna have a little problem here. Calm down, calm down. How do we get out of here? I guess I'll have to go that way. Thanks. He's a maniac. Equip and close. Dang you. Okay, debris, debris, debris. We need. No, I do not need help. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. Attack. Peace. Peace. Got our debris targeted. And we fire away. Oh, we're doing some massive damage. Look at that. 64 on the Mega Sea Death. 39. We, we handled that debris, didn't we? Like only an artisan could. Alright, same plan as always. Come any closer and I'll shoot. Yeah, go ahead and shoot me. Uh, only one way to handle this with a grenade. What the? This grenade's defective. He has a million points of damage. I wish I could get some of those grenades. Oh, we gotta loot the corpse. Gosh darn it. See what I'm talking about? Trust me, folks, I'm a professional. And we got a D18. We only got 31 credits this time, so we're not doing as good as we usually do. Usually I get 41, I think, 45. All right, so now we're going to talk to this guy so we can get our papers. Papers, please. No. Artisan trainer. So now we got to get our, art, our artisan card. I'm interested in learning a skill. Novice artisan. Sure. I've picked up the first of many skills. No, it's probably the only one I'm going to get. Imperial officer. Uh, will do. Papers, please. Down the hall to the quarter master. I would rather go to the 50 cent master. The dollar master. Finally. Finally we're here. Can I leave now? Yeah, here's a Zerka Corp doctor. Let's talk to him. He's new. I'm here to provide you with some buffs to ease your start. You can find my fellow colleagues in the Bastine, Cornet, and Theed. Make sure to check out the local cantinas for entertainer buffs from the Bacta Dancer Group. 
please buff me and send me to the start dungeon? I don't know what a start dungeon is, but I'm an artisan, so I don't think I should be going in any start buttons. Please give me a buff. A painful needle bite like a snake. Ooh, that's not good. A painful needle bite like a snake in your arm. I bite what? I feel refreshed. Well, this is 2900. How much is it buffing me for? Come on, show me. 2500. Those are a little out of balance. But, uh, alright, maybe it's a percentage. I don't know. We're also hopped up on drugs, so. Uh, Bestine. Okay, so now we're through the tutorial. So now we can can actually see what's going on. I, I don't need that. That's not gonna. It's not gonna matter. But what we can do is we can actually uh, set up our options. So our brightness is locked. Why is our brightness locked? Contrast can't correct any of the. Well, okay. All right. All right. All right. Detail world no. No lot, simple, max, 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 all right, terrain, maxed, sound, let's turn our master volume down, that's weird setup, all right, enable, look at our, I'm not getting any sound. I don't know if it didn't take it or what. Sounds enabled. Max sounds 64. Oh, it didn't save our... Oh, maybe that's because I changed the max sounds. Uh, fix volume, user interface volume. Maybe we gotta relog for sound. Alright, so we don't expect to see any players, but let's see if they've got anything interesting going on inside here. I must own a starship to use the terminal. So I did look up, okay, I cheated. I did look up how, is he active or is he dead? He is active. I did look up how to become a freelance dude and I don't remember the waypoint. So I'm going to uh, what we call in the gaming industry, cheat. I have the. We're gonna we're gonna cheat badly, I guess. Anyway, I I need the waypoint for the freelance pilot trainer because I don't remember what it is. So now I got that up in front of me. So negative one one seven four, negative three six seven four. And we're just going to go check it out and see if they've got jump to light speed. Now I need to get that up and running again. And he is a right, oh, right, right, right. He's in there. I'm actually quite interested as to why we. Why, look at all the rebels in Bestine. That feels very foreign. I've never, I don't I can't think I've ever been to a, a server where all the Bestine and Rebels. I mean, I, I assume it's possible, but that's some serious base flipping. Uh, not that guy. 
Oh, chef trainer. He doesn't belong there. Is Gil going to talk to us? No, Gil is not going to talk to us, so jump to light speed is not enabled on this server. That was what I wanted to... I wanted to see, but the chef trainer should be over... Should not be here. I wonder if they moved him. Lug jack, I got the gambling. Anyway, let's go see if the chef trainer is where I expect him to be. Or if that just happens to be another chef trainer, but that does not strike me as being possible. So I don't remember there being two in Bestine. But he was not there. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Trying to do this from memory, and it's not not the greatest idea. Since my memory kind of sucks. I thought he was down here. I I don't remember, but if the trainers are in different locations. Oh, poor Imperial guy standing out here all by himself. Uh, if the trainers are in different locations, then that could be kind of confusing. No, he wasn't there. And I know he wasn't there. Um... I remember he was like in a little cafe area, but I don't this does look a little bit different, and I do not remember him being in that location. Anyway, no jump to light speed, so we can scratch that off our list. Or we are not able to go to jump to light speed. Brawler trainer. No, I, I don't remember these guys being over here. I mean, maybe this plays into their whole specialty thing and I don't come to Bestine very often but I remember where more of the trainers are in Isley but these guys look like they've been moved around a little bit artisan terminal covert faction scanner oh oh right so this one will actually use his Bestine as a PvP has a PvP city so you you can declare faction and actually jump straight in okay banky terminal that is odd I can't remember if there was not one on every corner but I thought there was like I said I am not as familiar with Bestine as, as probably most other cities I don't get there very often alright do our usual check to see if there's any player cities that are any and non-player cities that have anything of value for us. That was a waste. Uh, we have nowhere to actually fly to. So, uh, Bangarang? I, I want to go there. Can we go there? So they have a shuttle port. Hey, I like Skrillex. Shuttle. They do have a shuttle port. Turn off help. Stop bothering me. Good lord. Oh, now we're going to start puking. I have to fight to retain my consciousness. All right, we're going to go to Bangarang. Uh, oh, I feel sick. And we're going to do this for... Here's the full effect. Ugh. Hung over. Uh, a minute and a half, we're going to suffer the effects of being intoxicated. They are quite severe, actually, it appears. I 
okay, and our, our client crashed. Uh, I don't want to debug because that's not going to do me any good, but maybe this will give us an opportunity for our uh, our sound to enable itself. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, let's give this a shot. See, so yeah, it looks cool there. I like that. That works. That looks a little bit more compact and consolidated. I like that. That's good. Apparently, we cannot connect to the galaxy. What does the server status say? It says it is up with zero connections. As usual. That's what we're expecting. We're seeing stuff here. Uh, last patch notes were on July 9th of 2016. As you can see, where was it? Somewhere it actually had listed. It shown me a trend, and, and looking back, there were there were more connections, but I don't know how we got there. See these bolts? I don't know how I don't know how much I like those. Okay, it says it online. My login key has expired. Okay, well, I'm logging again. I will log in again. Unable to log in with this character. Uh, okay. Are we crashed? Yes, we're crashed. Let's try one more time. All right. So we just oh no we're 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 having some problems here. I'm uh, not quite sure what's going on. So this this is what we do. We do a force overwrite install. And we do an update. And here's the connections list. So 50. So we got close to 50. And right now we've seen some sporadics, but oh she could go. All files are up to date. Um, settings. Let's let's turn some of these out because maybe this is what's purging us. This is how you troubleshoot Star Wars Galaxies. Windowed borderless. Optimal. Uh, we got sound disabled there. Okay, skip the intro sequence, that's what I want. Disable character lod. Okay, that all looks good. I did try to use the extended memory hack that they have in here because I have like boatloads of memory and it's it's not using any more than standard. It's only using two gig. 
So operating system not <laughs> supported. Direct uh, track IR version not supported. Oh, I forgot. I didn't know what I never I wonder I never got to try this game with track IR, but it's not seeing any of that stuff. So anyway, let's try it again without some of those hacks enabled. Hey, one connection. All right, so, nope, 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 nope. You are not supposed to do that. Sorry, folks, my problem. I had turned sound, music sound off, and music sound is playing. Uh, that's one of the problems with um, some of these launchers. They don't transfer the... the the, the information correctly for that. I don't blame them. It's just an inherent issue I've had uh, being a on YouTube. That looks a little better. Looks more standard. Hmm. All right. I don't know. That was weird. Um, you learn that you can't can't play any of the music. I mean, for you players, it's not a big deal either way, but I cannot allow any of the music to go through. Well, this is genuinely disappointing. I've spent a half an hour trying to log into the server. Um, I think I've devoted enough time for this if this doesn't start soon. So, okay, we'll, we'll summarize, and I have a feeling we're, we're pretty much done with Revelation. So we logged into Revelation. Uh, they tout they have more items to start up with and some buffs, and that was true. That was actually quite true. Uh, on a clean copy of TRE files, I am having problems, but it could have been because I enabled some of the experimental options. So that could be the problem. It could be something that I generated, and now unchecking the boxes is not going to undo the problem. So I think maybe this may be something I did by trying to make some of these things work. Um, this is online. So basically what I did was I tried to use the uh, extended memory to try to let it use more memory. I tried to use the high-res textures to try to let it do that. And apparently that's causing a bit of difficulty. I'm not sure why it's causing difficulty, but it seems to be. And uh, I think maybe I've screwed up my TRE files and I am not going to be able to recover this copy. I'm not reinstalling this and starting over. It's not worth my time to do so. Uh, but I can illustrate that the server does have some problems, it seems. Uh, but they could be generated by the player. So let's try one more time. So I definitely do not want to give them a bad ranking just because I can't get on. Although that is justifiable reason why you'd get a bad ranking. And we've crashed again. Okay. I'm guessing at this point that one of the setting options, and we'll, we'll, I'll review those. Because I went here, and the first thing I did because they sounded cool was I used the expanded memory, and it actually displayed an error message telling me that it couldn't do it because you know adding this policy to the registry was going to cause a problem, and I foolishly went ahead and did it anyway. You could go me. So that is pretty much as far as we're going to get. So here's, here's the deal. Uh, what we're going to say as far as Revelation, let me get their page up and we can talk about it while we look at their web page. 
Um, there it is. Let me drag this into view. I'd rather look at this than look at my stuff. So uh, it's revelationonline.net, and what they're they've got a what's new and future plans. They're they're trying to uh, give you the best starter equipment, the the back to girls, which I'm disappointed we didn't get to see their dancing troupe. Uh, the Zerka Doctor, but uh, we, we did get to see them. And uh, Zerka Merchants will buy your medic and artisan products to help you make some money. That's actually an interesting and cool development. Uh, world events uh, that are scripted bosses, uh, Widowmaker, Bludgeon. You can wear Night Sister armor and uh, Singing Mountain Clan sets. Uh, all of these sound like awesome things. Uh, Jedi Padawan Custom Unlock. Uh, I think there was a command that you could use to do it. Uh, Alamine, a new dungeon. There's a bunch of new dungeons. Yeah, I'm cool with that. That That's really inventive. Uh, GCW Rewards. GCW Professions. That's going to be Mandalorian, Heavy Trooper, Officer, Field Medic. Uh, you can make your non-Jedi character GDW leveling. NG Houses. Uh, a lot of advanced stuff they have here that they've got. Uh, NGE armors, speeders and houses. A bunch of events that happen on a scripted basis. I kind of would have liked to have seen those. XP bonus if you're overt. And merchants can place shops in the capital cities. So... Blah, 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 blah. Stable economy, market running well. Uh, did not see that, but that's okay. So, looks like they've done some class balance. Looks like battle fatigue influences accuracy here. Stimpaks heal an additional bit of mind damage. Uh, so doctors, CMs, and medics are more useful. Have an additional skill mods and defense skills. Healing ranges are higher. Heal skills. I like that. Make doctors more effective in the field. That's nice. Uh... So that works. Rifleman, Swordsman, Jedi, and Mind Damage Galore. Three pulls. Best way to bring something down is hitting Mind Pull. Everything's useless except Jedi. Well, I'm pretty right there. So they've they've got a um, a lot of stuff going on. And unfortunately, by looking at their patch list, let's look at their stats. I wonder if they have more expanded stats. Uh, what is that? Revelation. Okay, their latest patch notes are from July of 2016. So uh, take that as it will. So let's show the summary. Come on, show me the summary. Uh, I don't want contrition. I don't want a Europa test. Phoenix, Nightwing, Rising, Resurrection, Rogue One. Go away. Go away, Rogue One. Go away, Aurora. DC Nova. Okay, so. Um, four people, they don't have the best population. I'm kind of understanding why. Uh, if I'm having this much trouble, because this connection attempt did not stay that long. Neither did that one. Uh, my, my client crashed uh, pretty well instantly. Um... I'm going to have to give them a thumbs down. 
they haven't done anything with their system since J July and it's January of the next year uh, their population appears to be shot their posting for revelation was uh, 2015 so the server is uh, almost two years old and their last posting on the uh, main forum was in 2015. I just don't think the server is being used. And, and you know, if you guys play on here, that's great. But if you're one of the couple people I see that looks like they're on here, awesome. But I'm giving them a thumbs down. Uh, I saw a lot of new things, but a lot of new things I didn't actually like. And this is personal preference. Don't think I'm saying the server's terrible. It's personal preference. I did not like the uh, trainers being moved around. I did not like the uh, items being moved around. I'm wondering if that's causing some of the problems with my uh, loading my TRE files when it goes into the game and cache because uh, they are not quite meshed with what it, the game expects things to look like. I'm speculating here. So uh, I do think I also caused some of my own problems by trying to use the expanded memory. But the option was there. And if, um, if you're going to put the option there that I can use it, then darn it, you better give me the option to take it away. And it doesn't look like it was able to take it away. So that may be why we're not able to play. Uh, I'm not going to pursue this much more. Uh, we've been at it for 42 minutes, and we have gotten to walk around Vestine for about a minute before we, we died. Well, before we got kicked off. So uh, we don't seem to be able to get back on. The server does not seem to communicate very well with our client. Uh, it's not giving us proper error messages. So I think we've we've got we've got our answer. Um, I'm going to go on record by saying that Revelation is probably a must miss. Uh, if you're going to play it, make sure you follow the instructions to do the install. Make sure you install it in a clean, fresh uh, installation of Star Wars Galaxies, which we're doing here, but that it didn't seem to help me. Uh, I'm not going to bother to track down this error. It's not worth my time. I've got many more servers to check out, and this one is not going to. I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. Uh, maybe a 2 out of 10 for aspirations to try to do something different but something is preventing me from playing and I believe uh, you, you guys have watched me play Galaxies for 7 months now and uh, I've played on many many different servers and I've never had a problem this is the first one I would have had a problem on so therefore uh, I'm thinking this is not me specifically that's having the problem I'm thinking it's something with how the server is going or loading or one of those options I enabled so don't enable any of the custom options if you do want to try it uh, unless you're seriously in a PvP I don't think this is going to be the server that you want to play on and with the max of four players on the server I don't think you're going to find anybody to PvP with uh, their graph on the uh, on the login must have been 5 not 50 so it is a little misleading how the graphics look at least to me because it was showing me that it had 5 and I thought that meant 50 because it looked like 50 but it, it's 5 so I, I have to say the other two servers that we looked at are more trouble free they're easier to work with their loaders are more well done they're uh, Rogue One is probably the top of the list right now still with, uh, what was the other one? Crap, I can't even remember. Anyway, uh, Rogue One was the top of the list. Uh, Resurrection, or Revelation is at the bottom of the list now. So we're going to go with that. But uh, what are we going to try next? Hopefully we don't have the same kind of problems. But hey, that's what this is all about. But the uh, the launcher does seem to have trouble communicating with the game client because it could not transfer my settings to the game client like I wanted. And even though I had it enabled, 
music internally, it disabled music externally and did not switch the settings and then it did not change the music settings from the load screen. So, so there's a bit of a disconnect somewhere in there. So uh, even though the last patch they put in was in July, I think they need to do a little bit more work on their launcher. Uh, I think they need to clean it up a little bit and uh, take a look at some of the settings as to why they're not passing through correctly. And if those options are going to be unstable, uh, maybe maybe make you go through a couple of steps, type in a number or something and say, are you sure you want to do this? But uh, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much where we're at now. So Star Wars Revelation must miss. Tune in next time when we see another server and looking at the population chart. What's well, a busy server? What are we going to look at next? Uh, let's turn off Oh, no, Starsider is cool. We can look at Starsider. Uh, four, all right, but that's the test. Europa. Europa has a number of people. We might want to actually check out Europa. What are some of the upper ones? Okay, so the upper ones, the Rising, Europa, Aurora, Project Phoenix. How about we, um, we plan to look at Project Phoenix next time, if it's available to us. So let me do some research on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start this and schedule it. And we can look into Project Phoenix. Uh, some of the 100 people on it looks looks interesting. If this is correct, I will look into Project Phoenix and we'll see what it's all about. So I'll see you then. Thanks.